15 years, they gathered at the gates of Timbuktu for three days in January. Thousands of nomads celebrated the festival au dessert with guests from home and abroad. Normally, the Kel Tamashek live scattered across the Sahara region. They got together once a year. The festival was something of a family reunion. In 2013, Woodstock in Timbuktu was released. It is a film by German director Desiree von Trotha. Manny Ansa is the director of the Desert Festival. When we started the festival, Mali was just coming out of a civil war, a rebellion that destroyed a lot, especially between nomads and settled people. For the first time, the people could enjoy themselves together again, with music and dance. Some 10,000 people celebrate together in the desert. Daytime is for traditional music and dance. Evenings, the stage is reserved for Malian rock bands. Twenty thirteen saw the last of the Timbuktu festivals, at least for now. The city was occupied by Islamic extremists. Musicians and festival organizers received death threats and fled to neighboring countries. Mani Ansar also went into exile. In Berlin, he and Desiree von Trotter met again. Mali is no longer a safe place for musicians. It's like this, that music, everything that is music and not chapters of the Quran that are sung, is the work of the devil, according to Salafi political Islam. That totally contradicts the traditions of the region. Festival organizers managed to take individual musicians out of refugee camps. Now they're touring the world as the caravan of peace. The caravan is our answer to the bearded ones. You've forbidden us to play. You don't want us to play in front of 10,000 people in Timbuktu. Now people around the world listen to us. The grand dame of Malian music, Hara Abi, also had to flee. Extremists destroyed her studio and tortured her musicians. Celebrating the festival in exile, like here in Berlin, it gives us courage. We can still spread our message. Our festival au désert will exist until the end of time. Berlin's Volksbühne Theatre is packed. Even so, the biggest dream of the caravan and its musicians remains, to celebrate again in the desert in 2015.